So the quick uh, start guide does uh, show you where to install those and also to connect the two pins for the uh, little fan. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Daniel. I have my Raspberry Pi 4 installed as you can see here. I'm going to turn it on in a few seconds so you will see on the screen, but I want to say a few things first. The Raspberry Pi 4 that I have here is made in the UK, but uh, like I showed in my previous video, this is the complete kit from Canakit.com. It comes with the mouse and the keyboard, but these are made in China, of course, not in the UK. I have in the, here an old monitor. It's a 4.3 as you can see, and uh, the Raspberry Pi works well on a 4.3 ratio monitor. And I did, of course, try it on a 16.4. It works well also. But I confirm here that if you have an old monitor, 4.3, it works perfectly. Now, um, it comes with a few documentations. One is Read Me First, which is important to read. And I must say that the Quick Start Guide is very, very nice. It's only a few pages, like it's like 10 pages, really. And it helps you set up your uh, Raspberry Pi. Um, the uh, OS came with the um, micro SD card and it worked the first time, so I had no issues. So I will show you what happens when you turn it on, but first I want to show you inside the box. I highly recommend that you buy a kit with a box, by the way, otherwise you'll have like a circuit board on your desk. So I don't think it's the right thing to do. It is so cheap anyway, so get a box. So I'm going to get my, get my camera closer and I'll show you what I did because you get in the kit three heat sinks and a little fan. I have the lid of my Pi open here. So you see here the location of the three heat sinks. So the quick start guide does show you where to install those and also to connect the two pins for the little fan. And again, look at the size here compared to a double A battery. Look at the size of this thing here. Uh, one thing I'd like to mention in my case here, uh, I did not push the fan all the way in the brackets because that made some rattling uh, noise and it made the case a bit noisy so uh, there's a little space here between the the lid and the fan on purpose so this way it's uh, almost uh, silent all right time to turn on our raspberry pi this is my first one i'm not an expert but as a user i don't understand why it doesn't come with a on off switch you can add one later on as a project but it doesn't so when you turn off, it's not a major problem because it's software. You just log out like in Windows, uh, Windows 10. But to turn on, you have to disconnect and reconnect the power on the Raspberry Pi. So it's a little annoying, but anyway, not uh, something major. So I'm going to connect now and you will see the red light will turn on here on the side of the case here. Now you can probably see the light here. This is the first screen that you get when you put the power on and then you'll have two options the SD card comes with two OS uh, there is one that is the default here and the other one is the Libre Libre Elec I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly uh, if you want to do a media server that's the OS you could use now I just uh, chose the um, Raspberry Pi uh, full OS they call it and it's going to turn on in a few seconds it takes just a few seconds to turn on and like I said at the beginning you will see that the graphic processor is smart enough to format the screen correctly whether it's a 16-9 or like you see here a 4-3 ratio so I'm going to take my camera closer and I'll just show you here basically some basics on the OS and before I do so I want to comment about the keyboard. It's a very nice keyboard, really. For the price of the kit, it's a very nice keyboard. And it's also very small, so I like it very much. And the mouse is, well, your typical optical mouse. I mean, it does the job very well. So I'm going to take my camera closer, and I'll show you on the screen. 
Okay, now we have a clear view of the screen. In the upper right corner, you can see here the Bluetooth logo. So the Raspberry Pi is Bluetooth. You have also Wi-Fi and you can adjust the sound volume over here. And on the left side, you have the command prompt. You have a uh, file explorer, just like uh, Windows basically. And again, this is uh, Linux uh, based. You have the internet over here. And here you have your Raspberry menus which you can access also by pressing the Raspberry key on the keyboard. So if I press on that, this is everything that you get with the OS uh, from the kit from uh, Kana Kit. So you have programming, you can do some J uh, Java, you can do uh, Scratch, you can do also, there is a Python somewhere, uh, I don't see it now here, right here. You can also do some music coding with uh, Sonic Pi, there is education here. You have an office, an office suite like Microsoft Office. You have access to the internet, sound and video. There's a media player. It's the VLC media player. It's a good one. Uh, graphics and image viewer. You have also a few games that come with the uh, on the SD card, including uh, Minecraft here, Minecraft Pi version. Accessories uh, like if I open the calculator, as you will see here, a uh, typical. Uh, like uh, very close to uh, Windows or on a Mac and you have help over here you have preferences configuration all that stuff you can run commands and here is where you would log out as you can see you can shut down reboot and log out so it's easy to turn off the Raspberry Pi but like I said not so easy to uh, turn on now if I go on to the uh, to the internet You'll see here, I mean, it's, it works perfectly. Like, as you can see, I can maybe just type uh, YouTube. And it's going to connect. Uh, this is the browser here, by the way. It's the uh, Chromium. It's the Chromium browser uh, for the Raspberry Pi. And I can go to uh, YouTube. And um, it's going to connect in a few seconds right there. And I have here uh, one of my videos on the Tarantula Pro. Actually, I can probably do a search here under my channel, Super Dan Tech. And we have here, yeah, this is my channel over here. And this is my last video I posted a few days ago on the Raspberry Pi kit unboxing. So uh, it's a very nice interface. You can minimize just like Windows. You can go back at the top. It's everything at the top over here, but I think in the settings you can change that to have your um, this bar here at the bottom of the screen. So guys, this is it on the Raspberry Pi 4. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but I did this video to show you how easy it is to set up. Uh, the SD card that came with the kit had everything that uh, was needed to install the OS and I have no issues whatsoever. Again, I'm doing this because eventually I want to have my server for my vector. That's the idea behind me uh, getting into knowing more about the Raspberry Pi uh, computer. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to help you. Uh, if you want to know more about the what they call the complete kit that comes with everything that you uh, see here, I will be happy to help you. So thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.